Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for uh, another flight test project that I've been working on a little while. This is the FMS BAE Hawk in Red Arrow scheme. It's been on the market for quite a long time. I've flown it quite a bit. So have a lot of you out there. And I think general consensus is that it's a fantastic flying EDF jet for its size. It's got an 18 millimeter EDF fan. It's got a 6S 5000, 6000 LiPo does aerobatics, cruises along, it takes off with you know, not a lot of power and it, it lands really nicely as well and does aerobatics in between. So I've been flying it a while, really enjoyed it, but I wanted to get the in-cockpit flight experience, which we can get these days by retrofitting FPV. So I've done that with a DJI 03 uh, video transmitter and camera in there, but installed that into an Atom RC two-axis gimbal. Why have I done that? Basically, basically to provide uh, panning and tilting so you can see pan movement. I'm controlling it via sliders on my T8 Radio Master TX16S so that I get that, you know, so I can look around. Um, it uh, pans almost all the way around so I can look over, I'll be able to look over my shoulder across the wing and at my uh, co pilot behind me. But to make it even more immersive, I wanted it not to think about that using sliders. I wanted it to do it with my head as I'm moving my head. So I've added head tracking so I can switch that mode on and center the head tracker, which is from Medlin. Look them up on uh, Google. But this is a really easy to install head tracker that you put on the side of your goggles or attach it to the goggles, configure it so that it sends the signals from that head tracker into the trainer port on your transmitter and then you configure that up on your transmitter to move the servos in that two axis two axis gimbal fantastic so there's that that makes it really immersive but the second thing that i wanted was all the telemetry in the goggles um, so I'm using a, a Maytech 743 flight controller which provides me with all that telemetry so it provides me ground speed, altitude, my bearing back to home because I've got a GPS unit connected to it. That's the, the GPS unit and you wire that into the, to the flight controller. That's the uh, Crossfire receiver I've got connected into it. And then this is the little US, separate USB connector so that you can flash iNav firmware onto this and configure that up. So as well as giving you all the telemetry, you can also use it to provide gyro stabilization uh, and other advanced features like return to home and uh, loiter so that you can flick it into loiter mode and it will just look after the throttle, look after all the control surface movements and just circle. Uh, around you, the point at which you turn that on. So a lot of fantastic features. Um, and I think that's really important, not just that you get all of that information and that functionality, but should the worst happen and you, you lose the, the, uh, the FPV feed to your camera and it all goes dark, then you can flick the return to home switch you've got configured on your transmitter and it will come back to home and it will circle over your home position so that you can take the goggles off reacquire it visually and, and land. Obviously if you're flying FPV you should have a spotter, you must have a spotter in UK and Europe that, that is uh, pretty much law that you have that and uh, I'm fortunate to belong to a really good club where there's always people around so, so people are always willing to uh, sta you know, stand behind me and uh, visually watch what I'm flying FPV so should that happen they can also tell me where it is. Okay, so here we go. I'm not nervous at all, but here we go with the first flight of the FPV-enabled FMS BAE Hawk. Okay, so here I am sat in the cockpit of the FMS BAE Hawk Red Arrows. Taxi up to the top end of the field. We have a crosswind today, 5 to 10 miles an hour. You'll see that on the windsock down the far end of the field. Mini Trevor is sat behind me, my co-pilot for today. Hopefully he'll be smiling during the flight, but we will check occasionally. 
lots of telemetry on the screen which I will describe but as we go down the field on my takeoff run I'm going to be aiming for 35 to 40 miles an hour before I pull back on the stick and get in the air. Flaps, I've got half flaps set and ready to go. Ready to throttle up, you'll see I'm at 42% throttle going to full throttle up to 35 miles an hour pulling back on the stick and in the air. Gear going up and now flaps up reducing throttle to about 50% looking left and right looks good field adjacent to us at the top end of the field has sheep I'm not going to get too low don't want to upset them making a first left turn for a low pass let's see what speed we can pick up didn't go to full throttle but hit 90 miles an hour 180 190 feet just getting over 200 feet so you can see I have altitude speed and that is GPS speed I could add an air sensor airspeed sensor later then I've got percent throttle cruising at 58 percent then I've got g-force the amps I'm pulling overall set uh, overall pack voltage individual average cell voltage and then the milliamp hour capacity I've used another run down the field and I'm going to pull up over the top for my first loop nice banking right to come the opposite way up the field so you'll see on the left as well I've got a distance from my home point my overall flight time and in the middle I've got my artificial horizon then on the far right I've got the number of satellites I've got necessary for my GPS I need six or more before I can arm and take off I've got my signal strength and then I've got pitch and roll angles I don't think they were zeroed at the beginning of the flight I'll have to look into that at the middle bottom of the screen you can see below the artificial horizon I've got my vector back to home which is very useful if I get lost as well as my mode as I said earlier acro mode all right I'm going to do some a roll left and right on this pass nice axial roll and back the other way I want to keep this flight short it's a maiden flight everything's checked out okay so far but putting gear down now slowing it down and half flap then going to full flap adding a lot of drag but, uh, increasing the throttle a little bit and turn on to final nearly a bird strike there went across my nose 30 miles now it's good and flare and down wasn't far off an absolute greaser of a landing like that taxiing back telemetry it works really really well have to say just need to zero the altitude must be able to do that through INAV thumbs up from me and I saw mini Trevor was smiling throughout the flight good job so this is rare but that flight went absolutely to the book and amazingly well everything worked uh, perfectly um, I was brave I took off FPV, I flew FPV, pulled a loop, did some rolls and landed FPV as well. Don't think I scared any sheep in the, in the process but uh, this is a wide open area at this club so it was very easy to do. The telemetry was absolutely fantastic, um, being able to see my ground speed so that I could judge the 
the, the, the speed I needed, 30 to 40 miles an hour, coming over the threshold of, of the runway bef before I set it down on the ground. And, you know, doing the aerobatics in, in between as well, really nice. Kept it to a short flight as well, monitoring my cell and overall pack voltage as well, using uh, a Formax 6S6000 pack from George at Formax. That worked really, really well. And when you're flying like that, you don't really get obsessed with the speed, to be honest. You just want to cruise around and look around at the environment and just appreciate that you're, you're almost in the cockpit and flying. So really, really happy with that and looking forward to maybe flying formation with some other FMS Red Arrows or some other aircraft as well. Lots of other FPV projects coming to Essential RC, converted an FMS A10, a Flightline Spitfire and several other aircraft as well. And that's really what I'm going to be doing this year in 2024. But thanks for watching this one. We'll be back soon on Essential RC. Bye.